welcome back to my YouTube channel. I'm Shalia, also known as the Visionpreneur, and I'm your passive income specialist and business strategist here to help you create multiple streams of income so that you can finally start living the life you love and loving the life you live. In today's video, I'll be showing you how to create AI artwork for your project, whether it be for a children's activity book or a journal for you to upload to Amazon KDP. No matter what you're trying to create, there is an AI tool for you to use to simplify the process and help make your project beautiful and not just beautiful but also unique and tailored specifically to your vision now before we dive into the specifics of ai generated art let's talk about why it's a game changer for creatives and entrepreneurs alike time is money and designing custom graphics can be time consuming or expensive if you're hiring a designer but with ai you can produce stunning visuals in a fraction of the time without breaking the bank so today I'm gonna to walk you through the process of using an AI art generator that's user-friendly and delivers high quality results. The first step is to choose the type of artwork you need. Think about the theme of your book or journal. Is it motivational? Is it educational? Is it just for fun? This will guide the style and elements you'll want in your artwork. Next, you'll input a description of your video into the AI tool and you can be as specific or broad as you like, but remember the more detail you provide, the closer the result will be to what you're imagining. So let's say you're creating a children's activity book about space, you might ask for a friendly alien teaching kids about the planets, and then the AI will generate an image based on your description and voila, you've got a custom piece of art. But we're not stopping there, I'll show you how to tweak and refine the AI's creation to make it truly your own. We'll discuss how to adjust colors, add elements, or blend different images together. And the best part is you don't need to be a tech wizard or an artist to do this. I'm all about keeping it simple and efficient. Once we have the artwork, I'll take you through the process of formatting it for Amazon KDP, making sure it meets all the specifications for a seamless upload. And this is crucial because no matter how great your content is, if it doesn't meet the platform's requirements, it won't get the visibility it deserves. So whether you're a seasoned author or just starting out, you'll want to stick around for these insider tips and tricks. And remember, if you're enjoying this content, don't forget to hit that like button and subscribe for more videos. Now let's get started with the creation process. First, we're going to open up our AI tool. So we're in ChatGTP in the dashboard. And the first thing we're going to do is find our image generator that we're going to use. So I'm going to use DALI. So we're going to go under DALI and you're going to type, you're going to choose the image generator op option. <clears throat> and then you're going to start the chat. So this step is where your creativity really comes into play and it's vital for ensuring that the artwork you get is as close as possible to what you need for the project. First, I want you to think about the essence of your project. What's the mood? What's the theme? Who's your audience? Let's say you're working on a children's book about forest adventures. Your audience is kids, so you want artwork that's colorful, friendly, and engaging. Now let's break down the description process. Start with the setting. Where's your story taking place? Is it a sunny forest glade, a mystical woodland at twilight, or maybe a vibrant jungle with a hidden waterfall? Paint the picture with your words. For example, you might say a sunlit forest clearing filled with colorful plants and flowers. Add the main subject. Who or what is the focus of this artwork? If it's a character, describe them in detail. For a forest adventure, it might be a wise old owl, a playful squirrel, or even a group of adventurous children. Describe their appearance, describe their emotions, describe their actions. You could say a cheerful squirrel with bright eyes holding a map and wearing a tiny explorer hat. So let's type that in. A cheerful squirrel with bright eyes holding a map and wearing a tiny explorer hat. So once we type in the prompt, we click submit and the image, gener image generator will create the image for us. Now this takes a couple of seconds, so um, we are gonna come right back. So this is what the image generator, image generator has come up with for us. It's pretty cute. But if we're not satisfied with the first image that the image generator gives us, we can always ask it to tweak the photo in any way that we like. So remember, when you're crafting your description with this level of detail, you're giving DALI a rich canvas to work with. So let's go to let's 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 type in a more um, descriptive 
uh, prompt. So we have refined what we, we have refined the prompt and let's see what it gives us. It's a vibrant cartoon style image of a cheerful squirrel wearing an explorer's hat, holding a map and a vintage compass in a sunlit forest clearing filled with colorful plants and flowers. The scene is bathed in a golden afternoon light, creating a warm, inviting atmosphere suitable for children. So let's give them that. Let's submit it and see what they come up with for us. So this is the image it gave us and it gave us pretty much everything that we asked for so that's why I want to just make sure that you guys understand that the more detail that you give the better you'll have the better image you'll have for the vision you have for your for whatever you want to whatever project you have. So make sure you're taking your time with this step because the more thought and detail you put into your description the more you'll be delighted with the outcome and remember it's okay to play around with different descriptions to see which one gives you the best result um now with your perfect description ready let's see what dally can do with it so now we're going to try a different prompt and we're going to see what dally can come up with for us so let's type in let's say we're creating a journal for teens ages 8 to 10 and it's a Christian journal so let's let's ask for a an African American girl around the age of 11 she has curly no, let's say she has wavy, dark hair, wavy, dark, long hair. She's wearing a pink top and blue jeans. And she's kneeling or she's praying. Let's say she's praying. And she's in front of an ocean on a sunny day and let's keep it at that and let's see what um, Dally comes up with for us So this is the image that Dali has come up with for us. It's actually pretty cute. You can use this for the cover of a journal or whatever type of um, project that you're working on. And you can download this and add it to your, um, your editing software. So if we're adding it to Canva, download it and upload it into Canva and then you can edit from there. Um, if we don't like this type of, um, if we don't like this image specifically, then we can also ask them to change it. So let's ask them to change um, something about the picture. Can you make her have a, hmm, I did a pretty good job, so I don't even really know what to change. Um, Let's see, can you make her smiling? And let's see what they let's see what they do. Okay, so I just want you guys to see this because sometimes these image generators will play in your face. So I have asked them to change this image and make sure that she's smiling. So you can see my prompt, can you make her smiling? And they gave me these. So I said, can you recreate the previous image, but just with her smiling? And they gave me this, which isn't exactly the same as the one that I have requested up here. This one was really beautiful. Um, and then I asked, can you make it more of an illustration? And they gave me this. And then um, I upload, re-uploaded the video and asked, can you recreate this specific image, but just with her smiling? And they gave me these two. And asked them to try again. And they gave me this, which is semi-close um but i just wanted you guys to see that it's not always perfect sometimes you have to you know 
keep regenerating 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 until you get the image that you like for whatever your project is um so this one is okay it's not exactly um it's not exactly what i was thinking when i asked for this smiling but um i have tried numerous times and have failed so if if this thing if this happens and you want to use a different program then you can um but i just wanted to show you that it does work in um specific circumstances so i did create um a bible study activity book or bible study workbook or something like that um and i just wanted to show you the images that it created for me so i'm gonna go over here and show you some of the images that it created for me these are very beautiful images um, that I wanted to create that I wanted to use for my Bible study um, Bible study workbook so as you can see they do create really great images and um, see I generated this image for the workbook and then I asked it can you make it more colorful it didn't give me the exact same image but it did give me a really colorful and beautiful image that I love for the activity book for my Bible study um, so I just wanted to show you guys that, you know, it can work for that, but sometimes you just have to keep trying. Um, and it can get really frustrating because, you know, you're really trying to get this stuff done and then you only have a certain amount of prompts for ChatGDP, the, um, the bigger or the paid version. Um, so it can get really frustrating, but just, you know, keep regenerating and ask it to give you what you want and you'll get what you want. So the next um, AI tool that we're going to work with is Consistent Character GPT. Um, I believe I showed this in another video um, for Pixar generated characters. So we're going to just go through this process. So the first thing we're going to do is click here to start creating your design and we're going to choose a gender. I'm going to choose female. And it says, please provide a name for the person character. I'm going to go with Mia. So could you share details about the character, age, country, um, hair, outfit, etc.? So you could, this is where you can really get creative and give as much information about what you want your character to look like. So I am going to go with um, an African-American because I'm African-American. An African-American girl around or aged 11. She has long, dark wavy hair light brown eyes freckles and she likes to wear the color yellow and blue jeans I forgot the W and Let's see what consistent character GPT comes up with. Sometimes they'll give you um, a different type of illustration than you're looking for. What I wanted was Pixar, so we'll see what they generate for us. So this is what they generated for us. Um, she does not look African American, maybe lighter skinned. So maybe we needed to be a little bit more specific. So we're gonna start over. So let's just click consistent character GPT again, and we're gonna start over. Um, so we're going to type in female, please provide a name for the person character. We're going to go with something different. <laughs> um, let's do, hmm, Angela and could you share details about Angela? Uh, she is an African American girl. She's 11 years old. She has long, wavy, dark hair. She likes to wear the color yellow and blue jeans. And now this is better. They gave us a better depiction of what um we wrote in the description so this is an african-american girl she looks about 11 maybe 13 
Um, and then now if you want to make some more consistent characters, you know, just different pictures for different scenes of like a book or, you know, a journal or whatever you're creating, then you would be able to um, type in what expression or action or pose that you want her to do. So let's let's ask them to make her smiling, sitting on her front porch in a beautiful neighborhood with her cat sitting beside her. And let's see what they come up with. So this is the picture that they have created. This is really cute. This is really beautiful. I'm going to download it just to use for, you know, a project that I could be working on. And then, you know, they keep, they're gonna, they gonna keep asking you what's the next variation you'd like to see with the image while keeping Angela consistent. And then you can, you know, keep generating different images that you want Angela to be in or the name of your character. So that is how you use consistent character GPT. Now, if you're creating something for Amazon KDP, you're gonna wanna make sure that um, the size that you're generating is correct for you know whatever project you're creating so that it will be approved on the amazon kdp platform so i would recommend editing inside of canva so if you're making like a children's book um you're going to want to make sure the the dimensions are correct now amazon does have a few tools that you can use to make sure that your book is the proper sizes and it's called the amazon kdp cover calculator so if you go to kdp.amazon.com cover dash calculator you'll find the cover calculator you would select your binding type paperback or hardcover select your interior is it going to be black and white premium color or standard color um, and then the paper type and the page turn direction which is typically left to right and then the measurements in inches or millimeters. You can choose which, whichever one. And then you would choose your book size and make sure your book is one of these sizes. Um, and we'll do, for the purposes of this video, we'll do, um, let's do eight by, eight and a half by eight and a half. So that's like the square book. And then we'll do, the page count is, let's see, 27. And then you're going to click calculate dimensions and then it'll show you the full cover, the front cover, the safe area, the bleed and the margin. So you'll need to know, you'll need to um, know these dimensions to put into Canva so that you'll know um, how to format your book properly so that it will be accepted by Amazon KDP and not denied because of the sizing. Now remember these tools are here to empower your creativity, not limit it. Experiment with different prompts and settings to see what amazing designs you can come up with. And if you're interested in a deep dive into any of these AI tools, let me know in the comments. Before we wrap up, I want to leave you with this final thought. The future of content creation is here and is accessible. Tools like DALI, Leonardo.ai, and ChatGTP are democratizing. Um, design and publishing, making it possible for anyone with a vision to bring their ideas to life. So no more relying on graphic designers or, you know, just other people. You can literally bring your idea to life using these tools. So if you found this tutorial helpful, please give it a thumbs up and share it with someone who could benefit from it. Don't forget to subscribe and hit the bell icon so you won't miss any of my future videos. I'm Shalia, the Visionpreneur, signing off. Keep creating, keep innovating, and I'll see you in the next video.